Hi, welcome to the Huffy Doodle YouTube channel. My name is Lauren and I'm going to be sharing how I created this fall card and I'm going to be starting with some alcohol inks. So I have some Yupo paper and I've laid down some of my blender solutions and I have three different alcohol ink colors I'm going to be using today. I have a green, a yellow, and a well, I should say orange and then like more of a orangey yellow. <laughs> so not quite yellow, uh, but not as bright orange as that third color I laid down. I will have the names of the alcohol inks listed down below. So you could have that as a reference if you'd like to recreate or see if you have these colors in your stash. I am using a little squeeze tool just to put on some air onto my Yupo paper here and then adding more blending solution and more alcohol ink as I go along. I can see some spaces that need a little bit of color so I add blending solution and more color and I just keep going until I'm happy with the results. With alcohol inks, it, just like any other ink, you can always add more but you can't take color away. I mean, I guess you could add some blending solution, but uh, so just put a little bit first and then keep adding color as you go. I am still learning how to use alcohol inks myself. So I left in my whole entire process so you can see how I am scooching the color around with the air and then adding color and solution until I'm happy with it. So I really like how it's looking. I like the different color spots. I like the little bit of the lighter areas along with the darker areas. And I am waiting for my paper to dry. But before it dries completely and it's still kind of sticky, I am taking a piece of Glimmer Hot Foil. This is the kind of foil that you would use with um, foil plates on your um, heating system. And as you can see, some of the ink is sticky and is picking up some of that foil. So I'm just rubbing it on to my Yupo paper, trying to get that sticky alcohol to cling to the foil. And then I'm just going to keep adding it until the alcohol ink is all dry and I can't stick any more of this um, fo a hot foil onto my background. So just moving it around, as you can see, adding it wherever it will go. And then it finally dried. So let's take a look at how it looks. I know it looks kind of funky and splotchy right now, but I love the colors along with this kind of aura rainbow iridescent vibe foil on there. So now that I have that done, I've already done my die cutting off camera. I have my trees and I have my fence and these are from the tremendous peekaboo tree dies and close the gate die. Again, I'll have everything linked down below and I'm going to use my treetop edge die to cut out my tree from the alcohol paper and originally I was going to use ovals to build my scene but it was cutting off too much and I'm going to have a pretty busy scene so I decided to grab my imperial stitched rectangles instead and I'm going to walk you through my process of how I assembled this card. So my alcohol paper of my alcohol ink on my Yupo paper are, is completely dried by now so we're going to die cut my tree. So I'm using the second largest of the stitched rectangles and this is imperial size and I'm kind of figuring out where I need to die cut my tree. So I have my tremendous tree and I also die cut it with the impression plate for the wood grain and I also die cut a little hole in my tree and then I die cut a second tree as you can see on the left there. It doesn't have anything on it, no wood grain texture and that's just going to be what I use to layer behind my textured tree. So that that way when you lift the flap it still looks like there's a tree behind that flap. Once I'm done die cutting the tree I die cut the tree top as you can see I have my edge from the tree die and then I have my stitched uh, rectangle cutting down my tree so everything will fit onto that second largest rectangle size. I also trim my fence in half because some of it will go to the left side of the tree and some will go to the right. Uh, so that way it looks like my fence is longer than it is, but um, it will actually just be hiding a bit behind the tree. And um, that again, I'm cutting in half so I don't have to cut a second fence. I am also die cutting a blue piece of cardstock and this is going to be my background that I build my scene on. So now that all my die cutting is done and I've already stamped, colored, and die cut all of my cute images from Nuts About You, we're ready to start building the scene. 
So I'm going to use my tree as kind of a guide and some heffy tape so I can figure out where I'm going to glue my fence. So I'm taking those two fence posts that I trimmed separately from my gate and I'm going to glue that to the bottom left. I have my tree in place there just so I can make sure that I'm gluing my fence exactly where I want it to go and that um, it will again look like it's continuous behind the fence. So I'm gluing that right into the bottom left of my blue background and then I'm going to glue my other half of the fence to the bottom right. So I'm just using some tweezers and precision tip glue to adhere these down and again I will tuck that right behind my tree. So now I want to build my tree. Again, I have two pieces because I am going to layer them together kind of like a little sandwich with foam adhesive in between. And that way when I tuck my one of my cute little squirrels inside there, if you lift the flap, you can still see brown behind the tree. Um, and that way it doesn't you know, open up and all of a sudden there's sky like the tree goes all the way through. This will make it seem more like the squirrel is in the side of the tree. So I'm adding some foam adhesive strips. This is the Huffy Doodle foam adhesive strips and I am going around the edges of my tree making sure that it won't um, overlap and accidentally close up my lift the flap. And once I have my tree covered, I'm going to again sandwich those two pieces together. And of course my flap got stuck on the inside so I'm just going to use my tweezers to help me open up that flap. And there you can see my tree is all put together. So again, I will grab my precision tip glue and I'm going to glue this down to my background. So I die cut my tree with the same stitched rectangle so that way I know exactly how to line it up and that my edges will be nice and straight. So now that my tree trunk is on my background, we should add the tree top, my little crown of my tree. And I'm going to use the same foam adhesive so that way it's on the same level as my tree. So just grabbing more strips and I'm going to add these to the top of the card where I know that it will be completely covered by that tree top. So trimming everything down to fit and once all of my foam strips are there, we're just going to add in that Yubo paper to the top of my tree. And I really like this fun kind of glitter shiny aspect to the treetop. It's going to be the only shine that I put on my card, which um, is unusual for me because I like to add a lot of subtle shine to my card. So this was a perfect amount. So now it's time to start placing all of the die cut images. I'm starting with my little bird feeder in the middle. I want it to be in front of the tree. So I am adding some glue to the bottom of my a bird feeder and to the left where it's overlapping the tree. I'm going to add a little bit more stability later on when I add more images. I'm going to also tuck one of my little squirrels inside that lift the flap. I want the one that looks like he's reaching out and trying to steal the bird seed like mischievous little squirrels do. So I'm going to add some wet glue on his hand where it will look like he's reaching into the bird seed because it's going to overlap on the tree there and then I'm adding some foam adhesive with the same thickness as my tree so the squirrel can kind of sit on that and then the wet glue will be where he's overlapping and trying to grab the bird seed and that also helps the flap not get stuck and the card receiver will see that there's something hidden in that little flap. So now I'm going to place the rest of my squirrels and my two little birds where I want them on the card. It, I'm kind of making it seem like the birds are, you know, just chit chatting to each other and then the squirrels are coming up with a plan to steal their bird seed. So I have one bird on my bird seed. So I'm tucking a little bit of foam adhesive behind the roof of that bird seed and I'm going to overlap it with the bird. So there you'll see that that foam adhesive is supporting my bird seed and my bird together. And then I'm going to just use wet glue to glue down the rest of my images except for one squirrel. So I'm going to glue down my bird on the gate and then my squirrel on the bottom left side and then that squirrel that's jumping around in the tree. 
I wanted to bring up my squirrel on the bottom right that's in front of the gate. So I'm just going to use more foam adhesive. This time I grabbed something a little thinner from my stash than the Heffy Doodle foam strip. So that way there's kind of a third level here. So I have images that are glued to the very back of my um, background. I have a kind of a medium elevation of that squirrel and then a thicker elevation for the rest of the images. I'm going to use a jewel picker and I'm just going to place my leaves that I've colored around the card. I have some on the ground and the rest in the trees and I will use that jewel picker to also help me glue them down. So here's how the card is coming along. I love all these images. I stamped them with a brown ink and colored them in with more pastel colors just to give a nice kind of pastel fall vibe. I also stamped Hello Fall onto some cream cardstock and that's the same color cardstock that I colored my or that I die cut my fence out of and I just stamped it with some brown ink and I'm going to adhere that to my tree making sure not to interfere with my flap. I have a top old top folding A2 size card base. I'm grabbing my glue bird to add some glue to the back side of my background and then I will attach this to the center of my card base. It is an A2 size and it's top folding because I think that is the easiest to set on a mantle. And here is a final look at this fun and playful pastel and alcohol ink card. I hope you enjoy this process and that you try alcohol inks with your Heffy Doodle products as well. As I said earlier, I have everything linked down below that I used today so you can check your stash to see what you have to make this card or you can shop using the links. Join us also on other social medias like Instagram, Pinterest, and our Facebook group for even more inspiration. Bye!